I would like to read to you today a story called A Place to Sleep by Holly Mead. It's about different animals and where they like to sleep. And when you listen to the story, I'd like you to listen for words that mean the same thing as sleep. And when you hear them, you can touch your ear. When this bear needs to snooze, where does he choose to lay down his furry self? In the arms of a tree is a good place for a slumbering bear to slump. Slumbering means sleep. Can you slump like a bear? Where might the sleek seal sleep at the end of an underwater day? Where do you think the seal sleeps? On a lone sand beach, her head on a stone in a, is a fine place to dream for a seal. Do you think a stone would be very comfortable as a pillow? The seal thinks so. And for this handsome cat, the color of gold, where do you think the cat likes to sleep? Ah, over the couch back with a stretch and a purr is the perfect place for him. Can you stretch and purr like a cat? This minuscule mouse needs a nest to rest in. Minuscule just means tiny. She certainly does. A very small and very secret place is the wish of every mouse. Can you find her tiny house? When this elephant needs to snooze, where does he choose to rest his wrinkly self? Snooze is another word for sleep. Where do you think the elephant sleeps or snoozes? Hard to believe, but standing on his feet, he nods as necessary. So he sleeps standing up. Are there any other animals that you know that sleep standing up? Any other kind of animals? This oh-so-heavy hippo gets weary, too. Where to? Weary is another name for tired. Another word for tired. Mud, thick and soft, will hold his hulk in comfort. So he likes to sleep in the mud. In what place does this puppy find peace? Where do you think the puppy finds a spot to sleep? If she dares, she'll take the living room chair, the one place she's not allowed. That looks like a comfortable place. When his bananas are all gone and sleep is coming on, where might this monkey swing to? Where do you think the monkey sleeps? High to a limb and limp as a peel. That's the place you'll find him. Can you be as limp as a banana peel? That's what this monkey is doing. And this fast jackrabbit Ears all a flap. Where does she hop to in hopes of a rest? To her cozy burrow, she bounds or hops. A warm, dark pocket beneath the earth. So her burrow is like a little pocket. Where, oh, where would this fish float to to find a siesta of sorts? There's another word for nap is siesta. Where do you think the fish will go? The shadows of the shallows suits this fish hard to believe, but he sleeps with his eyes wide open. Hmm. When this duck's feeling drowsy or tired, in what direction does he paddle? He pumps his weary duck feet toward the safety of the duck house with his family close behind. Can you find the duck house? And what about these two? Where do you think they're going to sleep, the children? When this girl needs to snooze, where does she choose? There's that word again, snooze means to sleep. When this boy is getting sleepy, where does he slumber? There's another word. Where do they go? 
Where do you think they go? Were you right? To beds clean and soft, under covers and with kisses, tucked in and tuckered out, they give themselves to sleep. Tuckered out means that they're tired. They sink, sink down in warmth while their dreams rise and rise. Do you see what they're dreaming about? In their very own beds where they choose to snooze. Good night. You see them sleeping in their beds? Where do you like to sleep? <laughs>